The ten largest pharmaceutical companies form the so-called Big Pharma, which controls the world pharmaceutical market. In 2004, global spending on prescription drugs amounted to $500 billion. In 2002, Big Pharma's overall profit amounted to $35.9 billion. The profit made by Big Pharma exceeds the combined total profits of the other 490 multinationals on the Fortune 500 list. In 2004, Big Pharma registered a total pre-tax profit of $205 billion, nearly as much as the gross national product of Denmark. Here is a list of the 10 most widely sold medicines in the world, according to the most up-to-date data available from 2004. The most widely sold medicine is the cholesterol-reducing Lipitor, produced by Pfizer. It made $10.3 billion over the course of just one year. Next comes another cholesterol-reducing drug, Zocor, produced by Merck. It made $6.1 billion in one year. The third most widely sold medicine is Zyprexa, an antidepressant produced by Eli Lilly. It made $4.8 billion in a year. Among the remaining seven most widely sold medicines in the world, there are two which treat ulcers, one for high blood pressure, one antidepressant, one for heart problems, one for asthma and one for anemia, with a total annual turnover of around $48 billion. All of these drugs were sold in rich countries, such as the United States, the European Union and Japan. Geneva is the financial heart of Europe. It is here that we must start our investigation in order to understand the political and economic problems of access to pharmaceutical drugs. All the international organizations which deal with pharmaceuticals have their base in Geneva. The World Health Organization, WHO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, Médecins Sans Frontières, and, naturally, the World Trade Organization, WTO.